Hello, um, my name is Chloe Mendoza and I just finished my freshman year of college. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about how my first year of college went and how classes were because of Corona, like how my classes were on Zoom, blah, blah, blah. Talk to you guys about that, update you kind of on my life. And so yeah, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me also. Before we get into that, I do wanna talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa Jewelry. Now I'm actually wearing one of their pieces today. This is actually the Cardi set, so it's two necklaces, and I just feel like it really spices up um, a look. I also posted on Instagram a picture of me wearing it, and everyone was asking where I got it from, so thought I would share with you guys. Um, I also got two more pieces. I got Diva and Rebecca. And honestly, I just have to brag a little bit about these products because they are such good quality for a very fair price. They are long lasting. And personally for me, I haven't really been a jewelry wearer because I have very sensitive skin, but these actually don't hurt my skin at all. Like they're such good quality. Seriously guys, it is so worth it. These jewelry pieces are so cute. And so I just thought I would share with you. All right, so for those of you that do not know, I attend ASU, Arizona State University. Um, I just finished up my freshman year. I am majoring in speech and hearing. Um, I actually, if the grades don't change, they still have until May 11th to update grades, but if none of my grades change, I will have ended this semester with a 3.4. Now, I am very proud of myself for doing that, especially because obviously I am a teen mom because we like to put labels on things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But going to school as a mom at any age is hard. So I'm just proud of myself for finishing my first year of college. I still have three more to go because I am going for a bachelor's degree. But yeah, um, I feel like my first semester, because we have two semesters, very hard because I didn't really know how college worked yet. I feel like I picked like when I was registering for classes, I was like, yeah, this one will be easy. Like I took a course similar to that in high school and it was actually really, really hard. So yeah, I mean, just be mindful of the classes that you pick. Know that it's nothing like high school. Uh, my second semester, I made sure to pick classes that were gonna be easy for me. Now, clearly um, I had to finish up my classes online, which really sucked. I actually enjoy going to school. So switching to online was not very fun for me. I mean, I know it's for the safety of the students, but I just learn better in a classroom because I feel like online school was very hard for me because I had one teacher who had classes on Zoom every Tuesday, Thursday, just like every time we would have a normal class. I had another teacher who basically shut us out, did not really talk to us, uploaded assignments on Canvas and was like, there you go. Um, I had another teacher who would just send video messages on Canvas telling us what to do. I just feel like with online school, it's very easy to fall behind. Um, but yeah, I would still say that the first year of college was hard for me because I also could not live on campus with Ava, obviously, so I had to get an apartment by myself, which kind of, like, for lunch, I would not really go to where everybody eats. I would go to my own apartment and, um, eat by myself so I feel like that was like a problem I had um just try me as many people as you can and that I'm saying that and it's really hard for me to do that but if you're more outgoing than I am literally try and talk to everybody that you can oh um I guess for updates on Ava she is almost two she'll be two in July and I will be 19 in July in case you're wondering about me um yeah, she's been good. We're trying to potty train her. We got her some baby shark underwear because she likes baby shark. Um, I mean, some days she's really interested in being potty trained and other days she's not. So I still think she's a little bit too young um, and that's totally fine. Um, update on my Invisalign in case you guys were wondering. I finished six weeks out of 40, I think I have, and I had to take a break in between because obviously my dentist place, Invisalign place, closed due to the corona and they're not opening back up until Monday, May 11th. So I had 
like I only had weeks one through six of my aligners and I was supposed to go back to the dentist, whatever, to get the rest. And I could not. Be oh yeah, me and Ava are back at my mother's. Um, I decided that, well, first of all, it was kind of mostly the corona, but also we decided that for like the school year, I'm going to have an apartment and then for summers, I'm just going to live with my mom because uh, it's easier that way because I would be, during the summer, I would be over here 24-7 anyways, so what's the point of having my own apartment in the summer if I'm just going to be over here spending time with my family pretty much the whole summer? Okay, so I took a little break to do my eyebrows, so all I have left is eyelashes, and then I will show you guys the final result of my makeup, even though you see all of my Instagram pictures. Um, but I am curious as to how you guys have been entertaining your children, if you have any, and I guess how you've been entertaining yourself during quarantine. For me, I have been keeping up with my workout challenges. I'm currently on day five, I believe, of the hourglass challenge, so if you guys are doing anything, please let me know. Okay, so I'm done getting ready and I ended up changing my outfit. It still goes very well with this necklace, but I wanted to do a more pinky vibe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe and I hope you are all being safe. And yeah, peace out.